Hey guys, my name is Matt Handshake and Holmes, and I'm here to give you guys some tips on surviving post-Founder Institute graduation. Before I share my tips with you, welcome to the Handshake and Headquarters. This is a co-working space for online marketers, content creators, and solopreneurs. So for those of you not familiar with Founder Institute, it's a part-time startup accelerator for early stage entrepreneurs. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a lot. It felt full-time. Matt, how do you keep yourself accountable for not producing measurable results despite not having the weekly Founder Institute deadlines? Well, I think that you have to really stay laser focused on one to three things that you want to measure and then check in once a week. Big whiteboard like that helps. Okay, got it. How do you continue to grow your business concept after Founder Institute? And did you go back and redo any of the weekly lessons? If so, which ones? Nah. I didn't go back to redo any of the weekly lessons, although I did resort and look at them a few times for inspiration, for direction, clarity, but didn't redo them. As far as how I grow my business concept after FI, well, the rubber really hits the road because you're not in a stage of transition after Founder Institute, so you really have to look at revenue, sales, what you can actually pay yourself, because a lot of entrepreneurs never even pay themselves. So uh, take a look at that after graduation. Matt, moments of success and failure can be easier to navigate than periods of time in between them. Can you give us examples of challenges you faced? Yes. So oftentimes I really wonder what the heck I'm even doing with my life. Uh, is, am I doing the right thing? It can be discouraging if I spend too much money and time on something and no one's interested in it. Um, it can be exciting when someone's really excited about something. But it only matters if they're excited enough to buy it. Listen to your paying customers and collect feedback from them and don't just listen to the fluff. Last question, Matt. Anything you wish someone would have told you upon graduating from Founder Institute? Yes, I wish someone would have told me that I really needed to go all in. Let me explain. So before Founder Institute, I had a small real estate investment company. We bought single family homes with out of state investors and that's where I was still making most of my money. And even though I sold off most of my equity in the real estate company to start handshaking, I didn't sell all of my properties and go all in. But it wasn't enough. Um, I still hold, held on to two properties which helped me have very inexpensive rent and some passive income. But it wasn't until I hired two U.S. employees full-time where that really put a fire under my butt and I learned that we needed to make money and do it fast. So if you just graduated Founder Institute, my challenge for you is go all in. Put a fire under your butt. Quit your full-time job and get going faster. If you don't quit your job now, after graduating Founder Institute, when will you quit?